Like the strangling situation where someone strangles you, it's not very likely that someone will strangle me. Well, maybe they but a big, strong guy, uh, other than me, might uh, have an easy way out because I, there's no way that someone will just go up to a strong guy and strangle him because he's going to hit the crap out of you. But it's very likely that it will happen to women. Now, obviously, if a, okay, before we carry on, just please keep in mind that there are no techniques that necessarily work. Any technique can work. It depends on the strength of your opponent. It depends on his aggression. Uh, maybe the person's got experience. So it's like, uh, it's not like in the movies. Also, your normal, typical dojo training. I want you to keep it as realistic as possible without killing each other. Now, if a man strangles a woman, he's not going to stand with his hands there. Obviously, he's going to grab her, he's going to start shaking her around, so the situation is a little bit different. But for your first level training, suffice to say that you need to do the technique without a lot of resistance, without a lot of aggression, because you need to understand the, the details, the, let's call it the science around the technique. First length, strangling, I'm going to hold her as tightly as possible, flexing my arm to make sure that she cannot get out. First thing is she's going to secure my one arm, grabbing the wrist. Before she does anything else, she's going to kick me in my groin. Ooh. Then she's going to go with the hand as far up as possible, step with this foot in, down. If I don't fall, obviously, she will, I will break my wrist. If I should get all this way, she's going to kick me in the face. Right. And carry on kicking so that the person will let go of it. Right, let's try that again. Now, you'll see that, all right, the first thing is to kick in the groin. I mean, that's the simplest thing to do, especially if someone pushes you against the wall or a heavy object, solid object. But now she just kicks in the groin, guys going to knock her. That's the first thing he's going to do. So please remember, ladies, especially ladies, guys too, if you'd like to know this, uh, if you kick a man in his groin, he's not going to fall down immediately. It will take two, three, four seconds before he is going to go down and before that he's going to hit you. So it is best to secure the person again, grab him, secure, hit, fall above it, and then kick the hell out of him. Should he get all of your, your clothes, start hitting hammer first on his arms, or just carry on hitting, kicking, going wild, just to get away from the person, and then obviously escape, or, or kill him, and then escape. No, then you won't have to escape. Just kill him. All right, that is fair and simple. Just want to show to get eyes. The law of Archimedes, you know, Archimedes, as we say in English, Archimedes, the Afrikaans people, uh, is leverage. So, if she lifts this arm and just try to do it with her arm, the person can resist. But if she goes far up with the hand, if I do not let go, I'll break my wrist. Right, now, problem area. You're on the floor and someone's strangling you. Right, first thing is we must not end in a closed mouth. That's obviously the worst position you can be in. Uh, so that needs to be avoided, but now it can happen. Guy knocks you, you fall down, and he's not going to sit and stand with you. This looks a little bit kinky. So what, I, what he's going to do is going to put his weight there, and he's going to strangle him. So now you can't do your technique. Some will argue, all right, go for the groin. Just, she will not get to my groin. There's no way she's going to get, because the guy is going to whack, he's going to knock her. And um, the first thing she needs to do, to relieve the pressure from the vein. So what she's going to do, she's going to hit as hard as she can into the hand. Right, let's just check again on the try and hold. Right. Remember your life will depend on that. And also, I know what's coming. The normal guy that's going to attack you will not know what's going to happen next. So now, okay, the hand is away there. Your, your neck is secure. But the guy just going to jump back when you're strangling you or he's going to hit you. So the next thing you're going to do, 
meet with your knee and then you slide with the overhand arm bar and she's going to lock my arm that I can't get out and she's going to bite the hell out of me <laughs> the guy, the moment you see the leg lift up you get your leg out kick the other one out get into the open now now obviously this guy's going to try and get the apple he's going to try and hit you and you use that opportunity push in the now all right so now she called back out of range lift the feet up don't just kick don't just kick wait the guy can you kick him in his face and then if you get a chance you won't get out don't roll don't do a back roll because he's going to jump on you all right let's just try that again this may be a little bit more complicated now so down that's got you strengthening you hit with the leg that must happen very quickly let's just go back there so strengthening hitting now when you hit with the leg you see them stop really as she brings it hand over the top it's going to hit me in the face hammer fist over the elbow and get that hand around and lock that must be practiced very very well because now let's say i put my feet in there now i'm a little bit secure immediately what she's going to do is to start moving moving shifting shifting because now she's working on my core muscles all the time so she's weakening me and I must keep on adjusting. If I want to hit there, she hits me. She keeps on moving, keeps on moving. Because she can get this, this foot of mine with her foot and hook it. She's going to push out, hook it, and there, stop. Let's just go back there again. She's going to push my leg down, catch this, and that is called the ankle hook. Now let's go back here again. Alright, let's say my feet are in bed. She's going to use the left leg, the left foot, to push my foot out. And then put her right leg flat down and then use everything she can to hook that foot and push down and get the leg out. Now, let's just wait there. She's already in a semi. Let's just turn. In the semi open now next she's going to push my face away get this leg up and kick that leg out and catch me in the open now in all the straight jacket now obviously i won't like this because i wanted to do something to her she's doing something to me not good so i'm going to try and get up so we use this opportunity to push my face away get the knee in someone off because he's going to use his strength he's going to be stronger than you so this needs to be practiced it needs to be practiced so strangling securing with the hand now look here where hand is you can poke me in the eyes Boom. kick in the groin step over top <laughs> kicking me in the face All right, that's good. Down, let's just do the last one again. The important thing here, people, not to go into that ankle hook. You can see she was tired there. I'm not so tired because I'm the aggressor. But here, it's turned around and she needs to get out. It's best immediately after you have the hand away from your throat, hit the person off balance, get him in the sidebar and bite. If you don't have teeth, Sucking, but just do something to get it off you. So here, strangling. Nice. All right, she's gonna bite. <laughs> she's really biting me. Good. All right, you got that. Um, the angle hook details. Let me just demonstrate it. 
you get up easy because you're a bit weaker than me. I think this way around. Alright, she's sitting close now on top of me. I'm gonna see there, pushing that hand there. Then let's just go again. You're not just hitting here immediately in the now she tries to get her hand out. And I'm moving, and I'm moving, and I'm moving, all the time, I stop, stop it, moving all the time. Now, I want this foot. There we go, let's check there again. Here, if she lifts up to hit me, I hit there. She lifts to hit me, sometimes if you do that, that leg will lift high enough so you can get your foot out. But now, from this position, I will make sure that I'm secure there. I'll use my fingers to claw into the flesh to get the hair that person's got here to bite. Pull the hair in if they have it. If they have long hair, it is one hand. Now, from there, anchor hook out. Push the face away. Shift. Shift. Other one. Out. And then lock. <laughs> Remember, bite, thanks, be safe.